Or did you see that I'm going up? No, actually. Dude, like, I don't know why. I really don't. Mitch Anderson hit me up. He's like, dude, why are you going up all of a sudden? I said, dude, I really don't know. I mean, it was a dope. I mean, it's, and I mean, it's a dope video. Like, don't get me wrong, but like, like, there's no like reason why that video. I mean, other than yes, it, he's he looks super shredded in that video, but like, he doesn't. How did you even meet that dude? From social media, bro. It's crazy what social media can do, dude. Like, I mean, like I met him through there, and then I messaged him. I don't know. He actually messaged me. And was like, um, I have a show coming up in Waukesha, and he lives in Wausau, which is like, you know, Wausau is like yes. way up in the middle of the state, mm -hmm. like four hours away. Okay. So then he came down and he did the show the night before we got together, and he was basically doing a, he was doing a, a like a light pump workout, and that's when we filmed that video that day. And then he like was in gold dude in that back corner of gold dude. The lighting yeah. is ridiculous. Like he just like shredded his hell no matter what you like. You, you look ten times better no matter what body you are at. And he um uh, just looked insane. So yeah. like that's where I got that picture of him. And that thumbnail is really what I think is like a big factor. But yeah. also just like the uh, yeah, just like people like commenting and then just me commenting back. So that just keeps getting it yeah. going. And then yeah, from there just went on. dude, it's over six hundred thousand views. Did you get any like money from that? Um, no, because I haven't monetized my channel. And honestly, I like that. I kind of like that. I think, I I think people see shit. the genuine, like, it's like, damn, he doesn't even monetize his videos. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't need that. Like, I'm making money off the other stuff, like, yeah. my personal training and stuff that I actually like, feel like I'm helping people versus yeah. stuff. I mean, eventually, like, I might as well do it. Why not? But, like, I don't want to bother people with ads. Yeah, it's not. Because you actually do get ads, even if you're not, like, if you, like, if you watch it, you'll get an ad. Yeah. But, like, I'm not going to put ads in the middle of the video, like, stopping the video, you know, and stuff. Yeah. But, but anyway, so what was I, so I was saying is like, just make the main, sure they hit the protein every day. Yeah, the main things I would say as far as someone who's like just getting into it and like starting to like stay consistent and like starting to want to worry about like being like conscious of like their diet when yeah. it comes to like building muscle mm -hmm. um, would be the protein, number one. Like shooting for a gram of protein per pound of body weight. And, and that's all relative. So like someone who's like really overweight. They don't like a high, really high body fat percentage. You don't need a gram per pound of body. Mm -hmm. If you're 300 pounds, you probably don't need yeah. 300 grams. But even then, like for someone like you, like you're not like you're no. not overweight at all. You yeah, have a good I'm body fat percentage. I'm 161. Exactly. So. And just body fat wise, for you, you're at a healthy state to kind of bulk up. So like for someone who's like not at such a good state, I might have them recomp, which is like kind of cut yeah. and then rebulk to start at a better state yeah, and a better foundation. Yeah, because that's what I kind of I feel but like dude, I've you, done. Dude, but you're at a good spot though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you show me those pictures, dude. You're at a good spot. So for you. Since you're at a good place, now it's kind of time to just to start bulk up. Just start focusing on just adding muscle, yeah. Because that's what um, I talked to another guy at Milwaukee, and he said, um, "You like I've kind of already done three months of cutting, being conscious of the diet, doing cardio, implementing that things, and starting like to just start the workouts." And, and you whatnot. don't want to, you don't want to worry about cutting too much. Yeah, for sure. Because that's what FDA, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because that's what everyone, why they start joining the gym is to look better well, and, then, and they well, think that's... And then it's like, and then it's like, you can't maintain that shredder look all the time. And it's like, for right now, dude, if you, if you dieted, chances are you probably wouldn't look how you want to look. You would, you'd get to a certain body fat and you'd be like, damn, I kind of want some muscle here, I kind of want some muscle. And then that's exactly where you're going to... Yeah. How do you do that? You bulk. bulk up. So it's like, you kind of got to let these... Like, how old are you, dude? Um, 19. Exactly. So I'm 21. So like, think about like... Two years from now, if you just put in consistent gains, and then like summer came along and you had such control of your diet because you've yeah. been being conscious of it, and I mean control of your diet is in like, all right, I've been eating this amount of calories, I've been eating this amount of uh, carbs, I've been eating this yeah. amount of fat, um, and this amount of protein, yeah. and those are macros. If you ever hear yeah, 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 yeah. Quiet and all that, yeah. Um, so basically manipulating your macros then to be like, okay, summer's coming, I'm gonna pull out a little bit of my calories, pull some carbs. Keep yeah. my protein the same so I don't lose any muscle mass. Yeah. Keep my gym routine the same and try to keep my strength so I know I'm retaining the muscle. Yeah. And then from there, dude, you're literally able to manipulate your diet however yeah. you want. Like, if you want to get a little shredded, boom. Like, you have the ability to do that. And that's, like, where, like, I want people to get because otherwise you're just kind of yeah. guessing. You know? It just all sort of comes down to micronutrients and knowing and, and, how to subject those into dude, different categories. Yeah, exactly. And, and so my macro, macronutrients, when you hear people say macros, that's carbs, fats, and protein. Yeah, Sometimes that's fiber. A big one. Micronutrients are the micronutrients, like like um, vitamins and minerals, yeah. so like vitamin C, vitamin B, um, calcium, like yeah. anything like that. So those are both important, but in the scheme of like building muscle, in the scheme of like weight loss, yeah. calories are king. Like it's macronutrients, and then it becomes micronutrients. Yeah. Like it's all about like 
in calories in versus calories out. Yeah. But then at the end of the day, you have to think about like, obviously, okay, yes, calories in versus calories out. But I, I don't want to eat two thousand calories where the Snickers bars every day. Yeah. I want to eat some decent food. But then again, the difference of like super strict is the ability to have that Snickers bar. Yeah. But fit it in for the rest of your day with whole wholesome nutritious yeah. foods that are gonna and like people always say like. Um, vitamin rich foods, like essentially foods that are literally filled with vitamins, so like there's a lot of whole foods, like your veggies, yeah. your, your lean meats, um, your, your um, complex carb sources like potatoes, um, that sort of stuff. So, um, but anyways, so that's kind of where I think you should focus on above all, because dude, if you, can, dude if, you, if you get in macro, 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 dude, macro are macronutrients, and not even that, just protein right now, yeah. and then once you start dialing that in, you might play with my fitness pal and like start dialing it in just to track your protein, then from there, dude, then we can play with like, alright dude, where have you been at? Oh, I've been at this amount of carbs every day. Like, all right, let's try yeah. to focus on getting a little bit more carbs in and see if we see any changes. Yeah. Or if you feel better in the gym, if you feel stronger, and that's where we can really play with yeah. things because you have like something to go off. Of. You have the foundation. You're not set. just stabbing in the dark. You're yeah. Like, hey, I'm kind of doing this, and I think it's working. But then, like, oh, two weeks later, yeah. two weeks later, you're like, I'm not seeing any results. But I haven't really changed anything because yeah. you don't really know what you're changing. And what yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. You so, have some sort of a baseline. Right. So, so, like, so you said how much you weigh? 168? 161. 161. So yeah. I would say do true for, start like tomorrow, try to shoot for like 100 grams of protein. Or, or even just track your normal day and just okay. see where you're at in general. Can you might, show you on my fitness plan? Yeah, dude, here, let me show you. Let me give you the, let me give you the whole rundown because there's a whole thing on there that gives you like a, a full breakdown of everything as far as like what you're getting in for the day. Here, let me show you. Because, um, is it status? So, like, so when you're here, so when you click on this, like let's say, let's say here, let's say yesterday. Yeah, I don't know, like I haven't been doing it a long time. Yeah. No, it's okay, but here, so like, for, for instance. Okay, let me go to an actual No, day. no, no, don't even worry, it's, 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 it's irrelevant. So look at this, so like here, okay. when you're looking at this, when you click on the top, yeah. after you add your food, this is a great page, but this is the one you want to click oh. on, the middle one. You see how there it shows you how much you've already gotten in for the day? And it gives you your remaining over here. And that's the goal of okay. Yeah, exactly. So let me see what you have for goals in here. Do you think that's... I think I should because I put... When what they, do you have for your goal for protein? I don't because I didn't even touch that stuff because at the beginning of it, of the year, when I set that up, yeah, I said I wanted to cut weight. So they said, all right, for your height and your body weight, yeah, you, this you, is what you, you, don't you should wanna, You don't want to let this thing control it. So when you, well, I didn't when know you, any of that. No, 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 no. Don't even worry, dude. I'm not saying it. And I'm not saying it like you should know because yeah. you didn't. But like when you want to change it, go to here, and then profile, and then on the bottom, okay. there's goals, and you'll be able to change it to whatever you want. But this, I'm gonna set you up to whatever. I, to like basically a gram of protein. And pro. So like for breakfast, do you think what I usually get in breakfast is I just get just the scrambled eggs and the bacon or well, not the bacon the sausage because i know bacon's fattening and that's my breakfast usually do you think that's good to start off that's not bad dude. because sometimes i get the like, hash dude, like, like i said you don't worry about like the end all don't worry about like don't focus as much on what you're eating as much as making sure what's, you're hitting what's within it yes like and, and then from there, then worry about the the, the quality of your food. Right. Because for you as a college student, like dude, you can't you can't meal prep every day. Yeah. You don't have an oven at your in your dorm. See, that's what actually my uh, I come home on Sundays and my dad makes brown rice and grilled chicken. So dude, so if you have an advantage like that, then use that. But I'm saying like don't worry about like the the the, the, the micro of it. And I don't mean micros and micronutrients. Yeah, I mean just, like the micro of like the actual diet. Yeah, like, worry about the macro. Man. Like okay, I'm getting my protein for the day. And that's I'm the big one. I'm trying to eat as healthy as I can. Like literally to what to what you can do as a college student with a meal plan. You know what I'm saying? Like you fucking pay for that meal plan and that yeah. thing's super expensive. You're not gonna not eat the meal plan. Like sorry mom, I'm dieting for my bodybuilding <laughs> show, like I can't eat the fried food. Like yeah. just like, what? Shut up. Like what do you mean? So so that's where you have to be realistic with yourself. But don't think about like so many things as far as like like just what you're eating and like oh my god I'm not eating healthy, like I'm gonna totally lose my gains, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not like that. But at the same time, we want you to eat healthy as we yeah. can. But in realistic, in a realistic mindset, it's not it's not possible twenty four seven for anyone, let alone a college student. Yeah. You know, so there's definitely some things that you can do to like 
eat healthier. Like you can go to the grill. That's what you think we should be at. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And from there, dude, that's just a good, a good starting point. And really, like I said, just focus on the protein more than anything. Yeah. Hitting a gram of protein per pound of body weight. And dude, from there, don't worry about anything other than that um, for now. Because once you start getting consistent with that, you're going to be eating a good amount of calories just to get that in. Mm. And then from there, dude, you can manipulate, like I said, you'll say, okay, now I'm kind of, I'm always around 100 grams of carbs or whatever. Yeah. It's hopefully more than that. But yeah. Like I have on there, like 250. If you're around that and you're like, yeah, I'm feeling good, or like you're around that and you're like nah I'm not feeling the best like I feel like I'm, I'm my workouts are kind of like not feeling good and I'm feeling depleted and all that kind of um, tired you can you can kind of add in more carbs or you can add in a little bit more fat or just it really all depends on uh -huh. you as a person and that's what's also another thing people don't understand like you really have to play with it like some people work better on carbs some people work better on lower carbs and higher fat like yeah. the one thing I, I only ask of you is to keep the protein the same because yeah. you're adding muscle you need to have the protein yeah because that's what digests or changes the muscle that's what's going to help you get protein synthesis yeah. protein synthesis is essentially the muscle repairing itself after you broke it down from lifting yeah. which is going to repair essentially stronger yeah. which builds your muscle and that's your eggs your chicken your lean meats and even, no not even just protein in general man that's the other thing people that's why i'm probably gonna go to gnc that's the other thing people protein. don't understand dude. they think like you need like some specific kind like yeah i mean like a certain proteins are going to be like faster digesting or certain proteins are going to have like more amino acid profiles in it depending on like what it is mm -hmm. or like if it's a protein that's like super crappy by a supplement company or like yeah. whether you're eating like a good chicken breast or yeah. something like that um but at the end of the day, like I said, as long as you're getting that protein in somehow, that's the name of the game. Don't get caught up in like the little like the mm -hmm. BS of it. Like you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm not getting a whole lean protein source. But like, you know, like don't, like don't worry about that. Don't let Andrew, Andrew, if you're listening to this, <laughs> don't, don't let him talk to you about that stuff. Like, oh, you need to have six different kinds of meats every day, otherwise you're not getting like, no. like that's not. Like, no. In my personal opinion, and from what I do, like I try to eat that stuff. Like I yeah. said, but realistically, it doesn't work. Like you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Not everyone can do that. Yeah, like not everyone has the money and not everyone has the time or the effort. Like like he's a perfect example. Like he loves cooking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it'd be like someone working out that never works out all the time. And they're like and I'm talk and I'm telling them, What do you mean you don't like working out? I love working out. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, fuck off Joe, you literally are a trainer, like you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just kind of the same concept. So it's like it's easy for some people and some people certain other things are easier, you know? So you gotta find what works best for you and what you can maintain yeah. with your life at the current time. So Alright. But dude, I would say that would be the number one. And then dude, besides that, you do need to stay in a consistent workout split. Mm. Like like I think if you like what you're doing now, that's fine. But there's ways where you can easily get in do four days a week and still get in each muscle group twice a week. What um what would that look like? So I can send you something that would that would help you out. Yeah. But um essentially it would be like chest and arms Mondays or something. It would be more of like a full body sort of split. But like really what it, you could do like um, like you do like a little bit of like a little bit of like chest. Uh, how can you do it? You can do like chest and back on Monday together, and then you could do like legs on Tuesday, and then you could do um, like an arm and shoulder day. Yeah. In which you could basically be like a second push day. So you you basically do upper lower upper lower. Okay. Uh, but you'd hit all the muscle groups in that day. So you'd yeah. basically be doing more in that day. Yeah, rather than yeah. such an isolated exercise, yeah. So like on an upper day, you'd hit chest, back, and arms. Then on a lower day, you'd hit all of your legs. Yeah. And you might even throw in something that like you missed on upper body, like traps or something like that. And then that second day, you do that again. So you do like another yeah. upper body day. And let's say you started out with like bench and you went heavy on bench. That second upper body day is when you would like go heavy on your pull day. Like, yeah. So you're essentially getting both days in, but you're just putting them, smushing them together so you yeah. get more um you're essentially activating the muscle that you're working more often so you yeah. kind of spike that sort of like muscle growth um or that protein yeah, synthesis like grows it exactly and there's like there's like studies out there that are talking about how yeah. hitting a muscle group at least twice a week is going to be optimal for, for um, muscle growth exactly and then you don't get caught up in optimal either like everything's so like oh it's, this is not the optimal way of doing it well no it's not the optimal way of doing it but it might not be the yeah. optimal way of doing it for you you yeah. know what i mean it's so like everything for you might be different than someone else so don't like don't get like like caught up in it. yeah like oh, i'm not doing this exactly how i should be but if you're getting results that's what matters yeah you know what i mean because it's codependent on all of you and what you're doing exactly all right you're gonna have to send me something for that because i'm I gonna will. have to see it on I will the do. um so then that's what it kind of comes down to, because by summertime we're trying to look fucking yoked. Um, and dude, even then though, I don't want you. To, dude, if you cut, I'll be pissed at you. If I cut, why? Dude, because the only way you, you think it's time to bulk. Dude, but you have. I think you have a misconception of, of what 
what you're gonna look like because you think that you, you you're not gonna look like you're not gonna look any worse than you do like you're only gonna look better from today yeah and when you add more muscle you're gonna look better at the same body fat percentage you're at right now but you're gonna look better yeah. because you have more muscle and some people don't understand that in order, like I said before, if you le- dude, if you lean down and get super shredded, actually get shredded, like dude, even me, if I got like really shredded, I wouldn't have as much muscle as I want yeah. to. And that's where bulking is so key because if you don't understand that, like when you shred down and you look like you're from like freaking, like you just been starved, like yeah. you like, you're like what is wrong with that kid? Like and it's like you don't look like a bodybuilder, you yeah. don't look, you know what I mean? Even for someone who's a natural athlete, even at, like a top level pro. Those guys look like they're starving themselves. Yeah. Like the best look for me is like a healthy like 10%, like right now. Like I'm at like 9, 10% body fat. If I wanted to go on stage, I would have to drop it down a little yeah, bit even more. Like yeah, looking like, crazy. dude, the girls don't like that. No. Girls don't like looking like, yeah, guys like that. <laughs> guys like that, like, yeah, like veins <laughs> everywhere. I got veins in my eyes and my, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's 100% true. I know. Girls don't like that. Like, oh my, they're like, ew. Yeah. So like you have to like think like, okay, do I have, do I want to have bad Okay, that's realistic. It's realistic I have abs. In that picture you showed me, you had abs. Oh, no wait. Bro, they're in they're showing. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it's all relative. If you put me on the middle of the sun, dude, my abs disappear. Like if you get yeah. that good lighting, I look like I'm dieting the first show, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. it's just all subjective to like where you're looking. True. See dude, like dude, it's it, dude, somebody sees that, they think you have abs. Like but you in your head are like, I don't have abs, yeah. like they're not diced like that guy on Instagram. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you might be on fucking everything you can yeah. ever imagine. Yeah. Like, you don't know. You know what I mean? So, and even me, dude, my abs aren't like shredded. Like, I'm lean in other areas. Like, and it's because I hold a lot of like my fat and like my waist and my ass yeah. and like my thighs. So it like basically like makes me look leaner. But that's all genetics and you can't like change that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can only change how much muscle you have and how much fat you have. And right now you have a good amount of fat, which you need. Cause dude, that's why I'm not putting on any muscle either. I'm not adding muscle right now. That's you're retaining it? I'm just maintaining the muscle I have. Okay, because you're not trying to cut. You're just, ma- you are happy with your body right now, and you're just trying to keep it where and, it is. Well, I'm sl- as the winter comes, I'm slowly going to s- move into a bulk. So I'm yeah, slowly then, adding more calories. Then when you go into a s- springtime session, I'm telling you, think you're going to go on, you're going to bring it down, depending on how you look? It just all depends, yeah. Because it's I know when me. you go on a bulk, you get more strength, and but obviously. Exactly, and that's the give and take of it. Yeah. So like, I haven't put on, I haven't hit PRs on anything in like, in yeah. like months. But it's like, but it's a give and take because I look lean. So it's like, yeah. but I can't like be pissed at myself like, why the fuck am I not putting on any strength? Yeah. Because fucking dumbass, you're like you're lean. Bolt. Exactly. And so you're not in the surplus. And it's hard to mean, or it's hard to make strength gains when you're doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you need the extra energy and extra carbs. So dude, whatever. as a newbie, that's when you do soak up a ton of gains. So you might notice, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like if you just go hard on lifting, go hard on eating, and like don't like let the mirror like totally like screw you up like but use the mirror like say like okay I'm looking good like yeah. things are looking right but not the second you see a little bit of fat you're like I need a cut I'm gonna add six days of cardio in like that is where you have to like subjectively be like no like we have we have other goals yeah. it's in the middle of winter right now who cares yeah when I, when I get to summer and I'm like re- realigning myself it's not like all of a sudden one day you're gonna wake up and be like I'm so fat like that's not how it happens people mm-hmm. are like very dumb yeah. when they think that it's 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 a long term sort of process yeah. that happens. So you have to realize that like tomorrow is just going to be like another day where you can kind of keep walking, keep going. Yeah. And then when the summer comes, dude, you might have more muscle mass than you've ever had, and you might be like, damn, I'm at the same body fat. Like I gained like ten pounds, and I look better than like knowing um, using my fitness scale to know what you're actually putting in. Yeah. As far as like, okay, I'm eating four ounces of chicken. Like four ounces of chicken, for instance, is about 25 grams of protein. Mm-hmm. So like, when you're eating that, dude, like that's a good amount of protein. It's like yeah. 40, 50 grams. Mm-hmm. And I mean, don't like again, don't don't microanalyze. Thanks. Just hit it. Just do it. It's like okay, I, pl- I plug this in my fitness scale and I plug in once one serving size of chicken. Well, Susie up at the counter gave me one third of, you know what I mean? Like, you yeah. can't think, like, uh, yes, if you're dieting for a show, Drew, we'll dial it in, we'll bring you a scale in, and we'll have Nancy <laughs> scale it out for you. Like, seriously, like, if it gets to that point. But we're not there. You, exactly. Like, we want to get you to a point where you can kind of almost intuitively eat and look at your meal and say, yep, this is about about 50 grams of protein. You know, this morning when I had my eggs this morning and then I had a protein shake that gives me about 50. All right, perfect. I got about 50 grams to go tonight when I go home and eat dinner. Perfect. I'm going to have salmon tonight anyways. Works out great. Yeah. Like, that's how you can get to a point where I, that's like what I do. If I go out to eat somewhere, I'll plug it in because if I've never been there before because I want to know what it is. But then like if I go there three, four times, I'm a creature habit. I'll eat the same thing. So you know. Exactly. And then I already know, dude. If I'm eating the same thing every day, I don't need to freaking use my fitness pal. Like yeah. nobody wants to use that. 
but when you're struggling or when you like need to just like all right I need to buckle things down a little bit I'll go back and track for three days and then I'm fucking right back on track yeah. and I'm like all right things are ready to go again you know what I mean yeah and it's super key not even so much for you as you're bulking but for someone who's trying to cut but, yeah but for you it doesn't matter as much like that's what I'm saying like you have leeway just eat dude. Like, yeah and, and man look at the scale and look at the look how you look look at how your lifts are feeling look how you look in the gym and, and use all those variables to like adjust yeah. things. Like if you're like, things are going in the right direction, don't like, cause don't one thing, cause it. you're like, yeah, I put on a little, like I put on a little bit of fat or something or like, and then, but like your strength gains are going through the roof. It's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's, you're, you're gonna, gonna look, look better. better. You're yeah. gonna look better. Like I mean, Andrew dude, he doesn't look shredded all the time. He yeah. looks good though. Yeah. Like he looks like he lifts. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and that's the other thing. He says that he talks crap to me all the time. He's like, Joe, you look like you're a fitness, fitness <laughs> model now. He's like, you don't even look like you lift. And he's, but he's right though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, like he looks like a lifter, like he, he doesn't, like when he wears clothes, you can tell he lifts. Yeah. And that's it. how you want to look. He's not shredded all the time, but he also wouldn't put on that muscle if he was shredded all the time. But Andrew has the, like a good capability of like manipulating his diet so well because he's done it for so long. Yeah. And that's the only way people are able to do that. Like people are like, how are you able to maintain that? It's like, cause I know my body. I know how much I move with my job. I know how much I'm moving with my workouts. Yeah. I like to work out. That's a huge one. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't have problems getting into the gym, mm -hmm. and then just consistency. You know what I mean? I and I'm also like, yeah. leaner genetically. You know that helps me. It's the opposite end for me. I'm like struggling to put on the weight, yeah. which I'm not complaining about. But it's just the nature yeah, of the having a fast metabolism. I feel like a lot of people don't dude, like you going. Can, you can make your metabolism go faster by. I think mine's increased. It's going to only get. Dude, I don't get hungry for like. I get hungry quick. Dude, if you if you notice that already, dude, the more you feel that, dude, you're just, dude, I'm, dude. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I'm excited for you because. If you do stay consistent, you do get the eating dialed in and get the protein dialed yeah. in, and you really do go to the gym and like like bust it, like and focus on execution of exercises, actually engaging muscle groups, like tweaking exercises if you need mm -hmm. to to make them like work for you and yeah. feel it more, dude. You're gonna put on muscle. Like that's what I'm saying. Like the newbie gains, dude, are real. Like when yeah. you when you first start and you like it clicks, dude. That's when you're like holy crap. When you wake up every day and you're like, damn, I do look bigger. You know yeah, what I mean? like you look in the mirror and you're like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Like if you ever hear people say like, oh you can't lose you can't lose fat and build muscle at the same time, the one rare occurrence is like newbies. Yeah. Like that's that sometimes does happen. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's kind of That's where I'm saying though. with you, like if you just like just stop thinking about like I need to be shredded. Dude, we all get in that mindset, but you need to just think about like I need to put on muscle mm -hmm. and that's gonna help me get to eating more, yeah. which who doesn't want to eat more yeah. without having to worry about getting fat. Cause okay, so then just for life, you yeah. know. So then I should, I think I'm going to go to GNC after this and just get protein to make sure I'm hitting the protein daily and then get pre-workout to just you know that I'm getting fucking jacked before. Dude, give me, I'll, let me give you, let me, I'm making you take my pre-workout. Alright. I mean, what are you going to get otherwise? What would you get? Like uh, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, I would, cause like, you can get the, pro, I would get protein um, at GNC for sure. And you might find that you may need because if you have the money you can afford it because I know how it goes a uh, mass gainer yeah but this is only something where I would change I would find that out based on how your diet is so let's say you're really short on carbs and you're just like I'm so busy Joe that like I need to just get a ton of like a ton of my daily mm -hmm. calories in, in like a big meals that's where a mass gainer comes into play mm -hmm. like for me it helps a lot because I'm so busy but like if I'm if I was someone who like sat at home all day like I wouldn't want to eat a mask anymore. Like I would eat my food. You know what I mean? Because that's time. A mask is it a protein shake? Yes, but it has um, uh, carb sources in it. So okay. like some of them use like maltodextrin, uh, maltodextrin, and then some of them use like um, like there's a uh, actually a optimal nutrition one that like they use like actual like um, like oatmeal, and yeah, like complex carb sources. So it just all depends. But they're yeah. essentially it's like a big shake. So right now, I should just get the protein and get the pre workout, yeah. and, and then, then we can look then, down later down the yeah, road. Yeah, from there, it. exactly. Because I feel like that's gonna help a lot. Do you take protein. a multivitamin or anything like that? I can get it at the house. Here, does it say multi? Because uh, that's where I feel like I feel like and a lot of time. Fish oil too. Yeah, because yeah, I don't snack a lot. Like I, I try and stick to the three meals a day just because like. I had that mindset. In my, in my pre workout, you'll have to just order online. Alright. And you help your boy out too. You get that 15% off. 15 or 15? 15. 15. Right. And if you want to try it before you buy it, I can. I have some in my house. I can give you a sample of it too. Alright. 